Just gonna quick uh, make a quick video showing that the setup that I currently have to actually get um, some sort of PC games running into the standard native resolution on the BBM D24. Um, my setup is first I have my PC. It's just a standard mini ITX PC, but what I bought here is the AMD R9 300. So this one is one of the last, not the last model, but it's actually one of the the card before the 320 or 330, I can't remember, that actually can still output the analog through DVI-I. So as you can see here, this is DVI-I port. So I have the, um, the adapter to convert DVI to VGA. And from this VGA, I have a splitter. It's like a VGA splitter cable. So one of these will hook up into the input of the Xtron IXI203. And as you can see, you also need this box um, because the signal coming out from the DVI-I from the computer is a RGBHV. So that would not work together in the BVM. BVM only accept RGBS on the RGB card. So this extra box, <coughs> what it does, it takes the signal RGB HV from the computer through the VGA cable here, and it will, ex will output RGBS, so this is RGB and S, and you'll see it go back up to the back of my BVM to the RGB card. So that's how the, um, the that's my setup because this particular route, I can get um, 444 chroma subsampling through RGBS card. So I can get the, the best pictures out of it. If I go to HDSDI one, it's only can get chroma 442 or 422. So it might not be as good. So that's just the way I go with it. So you can see the one is going to Xtron, the other one connect to just a cheap Dell LCD monitors that allow me to, um, you know, sometimes when you switch between different resolutions, for example, the one that's very high, this one might not be up here, this one, you're okay. And you have to unhook the VGA, then you plug it back in, plug back out, take a lot of time. So this is probably the easiest option. In my opinion, you can use a VGA switcher, but the splitter will do the job. You just see both at the same, both screen at the same times. So that for the hardware, <clears throat> nothing really, really um, custom made or something like that. Just typical, typical PC with um, the AMD card. <clears throat> I'm using the AMD only because AMD card, especially the the R9, is one of the last one to have analog output. But at the same time, you can um, use the the special driver that allow you to. Chain resolution to like 240p, 360p, 480p, or something lower, like a lower dot clock. So that card can do it. I don't think that NVIDIA can do any of that yet, but then I'm not sure. I'm just going for the easiest route, which is going for AMD card. <clears throat> so let's go for the software side. So um, you need to get the uh, CRT, CRT MU driver and tool 2.0. Um, this is the one that available on, on, you can search on Google, but this is the one that available for my card. So all you can do is just, when you download it, unzip it, click setup, and you can click install driver. And of course I have already installed it. You can see this, my card here, it's just 380. She's not 300, oh, 380, okay. So you can install, after you install it, then now you can click on this VM maker. Take a while. So this is a software VM maker that create all the remote lines or basically like a resolution that you can choose from. So um, a lot of people have struggled with this and some people in the arcade control or arcade forum or something have already 
um, provide some of the setting that I can just basically put in so all I can do is just click on edit setting here so this one you can see there's a BVM DU alternate actually I added in before originally they don't have it there um, I copied the um, the some sort of settings from the um, the, the info provided in the forum that arcade control forum or something so if you don't have it originally you can just go and click on this button edit monitor preset and it will open a notepad right the notepad will come out with a bunch of these kind of thing <clears throat> so what I did is I copy this section I will paste that onto the uh, the forum post I mean the, the the post as well so you guys can just copy it in I have this one copy from the, the, the forum and provided by in the form and I just paste it in here then after that I just save it and just close it and after you close it you will see this this option in the drop down Sony BVM D24 you choose it so that's that's one step the second step you have to do is you have to go to video card so you can see here this is the first one I choose. Yep, that's fine. And you will see here they have three things in here. Digital HDMI, digital 10 DVI, and analog VGA. So <clears throat> for the digital uh, HDMI A and digital 10 DVI, make sure the enable AD emulation are disabled. You can say here it's currently disabled. That's why this button called enable. But for the last one, the analog zero VGA, yep, you click on it and click enable. So once you enable it, this button becomes disabled. But you make sure that this this analog output is enabled. And that's it for the video card. But then when you go to user mode, you can actually you can see here the get video mode from the user list, user mode in A and I. So press edit. So this is the mode that you can edit and allow you to switch into that mode specifically so for example the game um, for example the game Cyber Shadow for example is uh, the native resolution is 400 by 224 and I believe the blazing chrome is gonna be 430 by 240p we could just add them in here for example you can just like copy the first line type in you know uh, 400 by 240p at 60 desktop just like that you you can add any custom resolution here for example you find a game um, that run a specific native resolution you, you find out about this resolution just add the entry into here you could just copy and paste and then just press save and that's it for that so I don't care much about the main part because I don't play main thing <clears throat> so once you got these First step, second step, and third step done. Press OK. And go back into this. Click on Generate Modes. So when you generate modes, it will just generate a bunch of like modes that you can choose from. Which is, these are the, the stuff that you add into the video, uh, what's it called, the user mode, the INI. So now, all you have to do, you want you to generate, just click on Install Mode. It will tell you something like that. Press okay yep so that is good it means right now these are resolution are available for you to choose from um, I have a tool that I download called quick rest 2 this is a very 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 important tool I think it's very useful you click on it and you can see that at the bottom here you can have that in the taskbar and it will you can go to choose the resolutions for example your true color here um, you can see all the modes are listed here for you to choose from very easy <clears throat> so I can choose 400 by 224 and yeah the problem is when you choose 400 by 224 your normal LCD screen would not be able to see it anymore because it can't be displayed that now uh, in such a low dot clock so it's only your CRT would see it 
Of course, like you didn't um, uh, see it, they will be okay. They will switch back to normal because you didn't confirm it. So you might get into the, the problem and say, oh shit, what if um, I change to some sort of 240p mode or something like that and only my BVM can display the pictures but the LCD screen uh, could not display the pictures anymore and I don't know how to revert it. Um, there's another way to do it, which is I, what I did is very simple. <clears throat> Let me show you this. Um, there's a software. The software called change screen resolution exe so this one you can google search directly and they will they will have a link for you to download this just google this one to go change screen resolution exe so what this does is like allow you to change the resolution using command line so what i do what i do is very simple i just click here and i create a shortcut Right, and now I have a shortcut. So this is a shortcut. So all, all I have to do is uh, right click on the shortcut, click on the properties, and as you can see here, it is a syntax syntax of the um, of the, the the shortcut. So you can just come over here. You see the the syntax for my one is very normal. It's like W is like width is six forty, height is four four eighty. D equals zero because that is the only display card that I can choose. So what I do is I just add those extra bit in here. So you copy that and you paste it into here. So this is the same thing, but <clears throat> I did a step further. I you can you can assign short key shortcut hotkey for for this. So I assign Control Alt F eleven to trigger this this shortcut so um let's just and i put this uh, shortcut into my desktops so let's just say that this is the way i set up my uh, chain resolutions to change to 604 480 resolution using command line and i can trigger that using the shortcut key so i click ok so for example i choose uh 400 by 224 yep the lcd screen won't work but the BVM will work just fine. Be like, oh shit! How can I, how can I change the resolution back? I mean, you can go to, if you can go, you can still see it. You can click on this and you can change it back. But yeah, sometimes if the resolution is like too low, you will not be able to even like see that in the taskbar anymore. Um, but all you gotta do is just do the hotkey that I say to you, Control O. Control Alt F11. Yep, that is the hotkey to trigger the change resolution using command line. And yep, you will change back to 640 by 480. So that is a very easy way for you to um, revert back to the um, 640 by 480, which is resolution that could work for both. So that is all. Now let's just enjoy the game. Let's just go for. 400 by 224, which is the resolution natively for Cyber Shadow, which is a kind of like an NES kind of game. I have it installed in here and I put in the taskbar already. Well, let's just see how it works. You can see here, it's actually a native resolution because this is literally like a, a full 240p somewhat, you see? Scan line. Uh, there you go. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the little tutorial. Um, it's not nothing new, but I guess it's like for people who never had the BVM before, it might actually um, would be easier to follow than trying to browse around with all the tutorial on the net which is going to be quite confusing. So um, if you have any questions, just, just let me know straight away.